It's about 6.30 in the morning here, and today is Alabama's first quarterly whiskey release ever. Now, we were not lucky enough to win because we are not lucky enough to win anything, but we did win via proxy. Most people that enter these don't really care that much about whiskey. You just have everybody you know enter for you. Get your friends, get your family, get everybody to enter, and then when somebody wins, they go stand in line and get you some bottles. Because Alabama really only limits it by you know, adult drinking age person that happens to have an Alabama ID. So we had one of our proxies win in Troy, Alabama. So we're gonna head to Troy. It's about an hour and a half away. Let's fire up Maggie here and let's hit the road. Ooh, there she is. Maggie, looking fine, looking fine, looking fine. Maggie is ready to roll. We just had the power steering gearbox put on her. So that should not be leaking anymore. She did have a dead battery, but I took her for a spin, drove her around for an hour the other day. Should be all charged up. Let's hope that works. It's raining, but I'm still gonna rinse her off because she got a bunch of pollen on her. All right, Maggie's ready to go. I'm ready to go. She's got a little squeak. I don't know if you hear that. I don't know if you can hear that. Little, little squeak here. I assume they got a little power steering fluid on her belt there when they were doing the power steering pump. Don't know. Squeak could be a concern though. We're gonna YOLO it, see what happens. Why does it have to rain every time I wanna drive my freaking Lincoln? Give me some decent weather for once. We've made it to Troy. There's definitely a line here already. I wouldn't think these are folks that have won. Like, why would you come here? Let's just wanna hang out if you've won. No events here with Maggie. Everything was good. We did have one little problem that's just developed with her though. Freaking cruise control quit. It's a problem with these old cars that haven't been driven much. You start driving them and you gotta work out the bugs. So we've got a new bug, gotta get that cruise control fixed. How's it going? Oh, not too bad. How's the line look? <laughs> what number are y'all in? Uh, I'm like number six. My okay. Seven. That's number one right there. Eight's been here for like forever, and then it started going up a handful. Ah, it's not a big deal. I was just curious. So, you think there's anything going on? Like, you're, you're not eight. You didn't win eight. Oh, you're no, in like the walk up eight. All of us are You think up, yeah. you uh, think there's going to be anything left worth having at eight? I'm not holding my breath. <laughs> Depends on how many of those fifty. Yeah, well, that's true. It's one of those where there are so many different locations. I think there's an increased chance that percentage wise, less of them show, but at the same time, I don't know how many bottles they're going to have. Dope is okay. the dirt list, and everything on table one equals 54 bottles. So you're hoping 30 people show up, and then you've got a chance, and right? Table two, there's 120. Is there like a, a list where you write your name down, or are you just standing in line? Just ask who's last and go, and you'll, you'll know who you're Okay. Lying. <laughs> that's who's last. That's what, that's the question here. So who's last in line? You're the end. I'm now the end. I'm 17. Okay. 17 is not bad. Well, you know, let's hope only 30 people show up. Let's hope none of them show up. Well, I mean, if we're hoping, we might as well hope for the best, right? What time did number one get here? Do y'all know? One o'clock? I mean, I'm sure they'd line them up a little later if they showed up. You know, if you show up at 9.45 and you're like, hey, I'm supposed to be first. You're not gonna be first, you know, or whatever, but I'm sure they'll shuffle you up there because they're not gonna technically open till 10. Even better. I like it when they don't follow the rules. All of us are walk up. Are you walk up? You got, what number are you? It's a pretty good number. So at some point, they'll come out here and herd all these cats and then you'll get in front of us. You'll just cut the line. Do they normally have a drop here? Like when they normally do the monthly drops, is this one of the locations? It's the first time I've been here. So they don't get as many bottles here, typically. All right, man, how about yourself? Did you win down here or are you, you just coming to the walk up? Are you in line already? Number one. Oh, so you're the asshole that got here at one o'clock in the morning. Why would you get here at one o'clock in the morning when you know there's gonna be possibly 50 people in front of you? You had nothing else to do. You're like, why not? Fair enough. What what bottles are you hoping they're left? Like, realistically, what would be left at, say 30 people showed up, 31. Eagle Rare, hopefully, Is Eagle Rare worth sitting here for like nine hours? <laughs> when did number two get here? When did you at least have company? So you had three hours of just sleeping in your chair? I'm in Auburn, and most of the time it's camping out. Like if you have really, like, just decent bottles. There are people there Friday. It is fun. Like, it's a tailgate. They're just tailgating. Last year, they dropped Weller Foolproof in Ellick City. I had my brother go up there at like 7.30, and he was like fourth in line. 7.30 in the morning for Weller Foolproof. They were camp They were there Thursday in Auburn for it, and he just showed up at 7.30 in Ellick City. I am no longer dedicated enough to get good bottles of whiskey. Like, I'm just not, not committed to the game anymore. It was fun when it was 
kind of easy. I did a couple of camp outs just to say I did it, and I just gotta pay secondary prices or get lucky. I don't know. Four in the morning for a bottle of Eagle Rare and Blanton's. Like, I need sleep, man. You know, you don't look this good without getting beauty rest. The problem here is that there's no list. So in Auburn, you could just sign the list and then you could leave as long as you're only gone for a few minutes. So I probably should have went to the restroom before I came here. Cause now if you got to pee, we'll just have to sleep. Like I don't, there's a Zaxby's over there, but Zaxby's doesn't serve breakfast. It's a barbecue restaurant over here, but I don't know. Guess you just, just in trouble, we'll see. A lot of y'all have been asking about my day job. And the simple answer is, I'm in e-commerce. We build websites that sell things. I actually took half the marketing budget from the e-commerce agency to help build Bruzel. There's no way we would be able to put out the number of videos that we do currently without the help of folks like Shred and Will who actually work for the agency. But we don't have a sponsor for this video. So this video is brought to you by Jamerson. For more than 20 years, Jamerson has been helping e-commerce businesses get more from their e-commerce store. I founded it in college out of necessity, focused on e-commerce from the beginning, and that is literally all we've been doing for over 20 years. So if you're involved in some way with an e-commerce store, you need a little consultation or a little help getting it to the next level, well, go to jamerson.com or click the link in the description, fill out a short form, we'll set up some time, happy to help. Let's get back to the video. The line is condensing. Everybody seems to be getting very serious now. You know, chairs are getting put up and people are standing up like, ah, what time is it? This shindig doesn't really get kicked off till 9.30. We still got like 50 minutes, some reason or another, all the cattle started moving forward. I feel closer to the front of the line now though. What we do, we look it in the window? Let's go peek in the window. Okay, a lot of Elijah Craig. Those are Blanton's cases there. There are at least two Blanton's cases. I'm assuming there's four. I only see one case of Eagle Rare though, and then all the Elijah Craig you could possibly ever hope for. Yay. Um, I'm, okay, nine, let's see. Um, Blanton's 18, so they had three cases of that. Eagle Rare had two, which there's six in that one, I think. E.H. Taylor, yes, yeah, so single barrel one. Now, normally, do they get a better allocation than, than this place does? Do they're you all, know? They're all the same. They're all the same number of bottles? Because, like, on a normal drop, they're not. In the quarterly, everybody supposedly has the exact same. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I sure would like to have one of those. Heavy, I, I'm hoping nobody wants the Heaven Hill at $290. That's what I'm hoping. Because it happens. Like, I went through the line not too long ago and they had Joseph Magnus Cigar Blend and nobody bought it. I was able to just go back through. I went through and got my bottles I wanted, then went back through the line after everybody and bought the Joseph Magnus Cigar Blend because they're so pricey. But there's enough collectors here where those are probably like, those are very, that's a very collectible bottle. I'm not, I'm not lucky like that, but I'm hoping nobody knows they're like 200 what? No, I think I'll pass on that. That's fancy, man. We get name tags. 18 right here. Yeah, I'll follow you. Do you? Yeah. Then could I get a higher number? 18. Yeah. Okay. Zero? <laughs> you know how that works. <laughs> Someday we're going to have enough clout to get a higher number. That's what's going to happen. Got to up that clout. I feel like now that I have an official number, I can actually leave and go to the restroom. I don't I don't know how that works. Though. Very different here. Y'all do it very different. So what, what number are y'all? 12 in the walk-up line? Yes, sir. What bottle are you hoping to have at 12 in the walk-up line? Do you think you e Taylor maybe? Or anything Weller? I got plenty of Elijah Craig. Not just going to trusty so we'll see. At this point, we're just hoping for something. something, something. Yeah. Okay. Not Elijah Craig. Something not Elijah Craig. That's kind of where I'm at, too. Yeah. Anything on the list, not Elijah Craig, I think I'll be happy with. It. What are you hoping? I, at this point, so I don't play fair. See, I don't, I don't win, I don't win things. So what I do is I just have everybody I know enter, and I have a winner via proxy that should be here in a little while. So I'm going to technically be 30th in line, even though I'm going to be standing back here. At this spot, I really don't expect there to be anything left. Like it's just kind of just come film it, get a video out of it, you know, enjoy hanging out with folks. Like I like the, I like the hanging out with folks aspect. That's more fun to me than the bourbon. So I come to these even if I don't think I'm going to get a bottle. Like even if I show up and there's 20 bottles and there's 50 people in line, I still hang out for a couple of hours and just, just, you know, have a good time. So back here, you know, if I get lucky, like I'd love another Antique 107. That's my favorite bottle on the planet that I drink regularly. Something like that, you know, another blend. Somebody will always want another blend. I got plenty of those. There's always somebody begging for one. Just whatever. Now 30th, I'm hoping to get a couple of decent bottles. I really want that Heaven Hill 20. I'm hoping folks just pass on it and my guy in 30 can pick it up for me. If he bring up, brings enough money, I don't, I don't know how that's gonna work, but we'll see. So you get people from 
different areas? Like from the area you're going to come? Uh, well, I mean, I just have friends do it in wherever they're located and I'll come to them if I need okay. to film it or something, right? So this guy lives down in Dothan that uh, entered for me and he won here. He entered in, like you can enter in a bunch of different spots. So I think he entered in Dothan in here and a couple spots around Dothan and just happened to get drawn here and not any of the other ones. So where I'm at right now, no Burnham's, no E.H. Taylor's, no Heaven Hill Heritage Collection, no Old Forester, no Weller at all on table one, unless only 30 people should show up and then they'll be left with just probably Burnham's. So it's not looking good to get a good bottle at the walk-up line, at back where I'm at. I'm in like 18th spot and all the ones on table one, the highly desirable ones are gonna be gone. So probably not worth your time unless you uh, unless you just wanna hang out. Ooh. What's up, y'all on your way? Yeah, we just pulled up. Okay, cool. Just wanna make sure y'all gonna make it before 9.30. See you in a bit. All right, see you. Bye. So they made it, so we should be secured with our 30 spot in line. So after we got our number, took the chance and uh, went to the restroom. So we would be in supreme comfort. And right now we're hanging out in supreme comfort. Is it comfortable back there? It is nice. Super there comfortable. So I, I gave you the list. You won 30th? Yeah, I'm 30th in line. And I gave you the list. Do you understand the list? Uh, yeah. What's number one priority on table one? Evan Hill Heritage 20 year. What's number two? Weller full proof. I think we understand. I think we're good. Just waiting on Will over here, who's taking forever to go get, what kind of Coke is that? A brown label? It's a vanilla Coke. They have brown labels now? I don't, I don't know if it's brown, it's gold. It's, gold. it's kind of gold, goldish brown. All right, let's head back over there, get in line and uh, see what kind of whiskey we can find. Let's make sure you're prepared. You're prepared, you've got the list. Yep. You got your ID. Maybe. You sure? You seemed a little skeptical no. as to whether or not you I had actually filled out the online form properly. Cause your yeah, ID has to match what you filled out online. I got everything. Hopefully the online form's good too. I hope Let's these folks are not more strict than say the government. I've got a little problem to where my middle name is spelled with an S-O-N, but the, my business name is S-A-N. But on my Delta Sky Miles, my middle name spelled S-A-N and they have not yet flagged me going through an airport even though tech Technically, my name does not match my ID. That's the same thing with my middle name is Nichols, but sometimes on some forms it's spelled with an H and sometimes it's not. So you got in trouble with that yet? No. Let's hope this works out. We are sitting here, what time is it? 9.18. 9.18, so it's 9.18. We've got about 12 minutes before the official line starts to form. I think I might have enough battery power. We're gonna try to power through it. We may film a few other things. Now that they've given most people post-it notes with a number, they're just kind of roaming around. It's like free range people now, free range bourbon hunters just grazing in a parking lot. So it's not as much of a party here as it is in Auburn. Like a lot of folks get there early. They're just hanging out. Heck, they'll break out cornhole and do crazy things sometimes. We brought the grill a couple of times. Here, they're a little more just get here and, and talk for a little while and get some bourbon, which is it's cool. A little more laid back vibe. Thank you, appreciate it. By proxy, so I'm not lucky enough to win, so okay. I have to cheat just a little bit okay. here. I have Hayden, who won 30th, is gonna help me out with okay. some with some I bottles. And then okay. I just gotta walk up. I'm in the walk up line, okay. so I'm 18th, which means abs I get nothing. Oh, really? That's what, like, unless about 30 people show up, I'm getting pretty much. I might get a Elijah Craig barrel proof that I really don't want. I've been trying to grab an Eagle Rare for the last six months. Okay. Releases and haven't had it. Now, have you, uh, so did you win a spot? To, yeah, I'm number 10. Number 10, overall yeah. 10? Yeah. Oh, don't get an Eagle Rare. No? Not a 10. I mean, but what? Everything What's table else one? Off that table. Table one. Um, Burnham. Barrel okay. No, I don't know if the Burnham Barrel Proof's on there. Don't, yeah, you wouldn't um, get Eagle that. Eagle Rare. Blanton, that's table two. Elijah Craig. That's all that's on table two probably makes sense. Mm -hmm. What do you get in table one? I like the uh, E.H. Taylor single barrel. So they've got six single barrels, but those three Heaven Hills, if anybody knows what they're going for, if there are any collectors ahead of you, I'm hoping they're still there. Oh, I'd love, that's what I'm on. You want one yeah. to resell? Or no, I don't resell okay. whiskey, I drink them. Where I stand right now, I can't see spending $300 on a bottle. Well, that, now. that bottle will be $1,000 on the secondary in a week. And, and that's what I, I, can I can't pay $1,000 for it. Mm -hmm. So if I can get it for three, then I can buy and open it, right? Yeah. I, I can yeah. do that, that but I can't, I, can't open, I can't pay $1,000 and open it. Okay. So that's kind of why I'm like, I'm hoping it's there at 30th when my guy mm -hmm. goes through and I get a chance at it. I doubt it. So if I can't get the E.H. Taylor single barrel, what would you suggest? It's I would batch. probably get the Weller full proof. It's, it is harder to come by than the E.H. Taylor small batch. Mm -hmm. Would you suggest that over the single barrel? 
if you, like go with what you want, mm -hmm. right? Like if you're gonna open it and drink it, whatever mm -hmm. you want is fine. Get that that EH Taylor's fantastic bottle, okay. 100 proof. Depending on what you're into, that might be better mm -hmm. to you. I prefer the Weller full proof to that EH Taylor single barrel, just okay. as far as like how much I like to drink them. Mm -hmm. But that single barrel is really hard to come by. Okay. So I, I think as far as like difficulty, that EH Taylor's probably on par. The single barrel, the small okay. batch is not. It's a lot more available, but both equally delicious. You're not gonna go wrong with any of those. Any okay. of the Weller. Antique 107, foolproof, single barrel, small batch EHT, all of those are fantastic bottles. Okay. So far, he's calling a lot of names of folks that are not here, so might be getting lucky. 15, didn't it? 15? So there's 35 out of the 50. Okay. Perfect. That puts me right after 50, so nice. I might be all right. I might be okay. Now, Elijah Craig might still be there. Oh, just, why, you gotta, <laughs> why you gotta do that to me, man? You said you already got some, or you just not looking? Uh, one, I, well, I think I have like four open bottles right now of Elijah Craig uh, barrel proof. But not the A123? <laughs> yeah, but like, <laughs> they never get drank. They're just okay. Like, I, do, I like them, I don't love them. It's just not my jam. So I don't, I don't want more Elijah Craig. I understand. I mean, I'll take some toasted. Yeah. I pick up an 18 when I come across one, mm -hmm. even though that's a little too, little too oaky. The problem is second table, there's not a lot going on, right? You've got Blanton's, you've got Eagle Rare, you've got Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, you got Larsley Barrel Proof. Like Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, Larsley Barrel Proof, not that hard to get. So like, do you at least take, have you had an Eagle Rare? I've had Eagle Rare. It's good. It, it just it. sucks to win fourth and come away with an Eagle Rare. Yeah, yeah. But that like, kinda... it's all your options. Like, what are you getting? What are you getting on table one? I love E.H. Taylor. I've okay. only ever had a small batch, so I'm going single. Okay. It's a good choice. Nothing wrong with that I one just, at all. You cannot beat it for the price in my It's uh, definitely what a bourbon's supposed to taste like. My best friend thinks Blanton's is God's nectar and has a birthday in June. So, so that, that's that probably a good, a, yeah, uh, just get that and give that. A, that's a birthday present. I give away 10 Blanton's to every one I drink. I mean, I think it's fine. I just, yeah. I, I'm not, I'm not in the fanfare. Uh, it, it doesn't. Oh, it's a good bourbon. Yeah. But people just get so excited, especially people that are just kind of into bourbon, get so right. excited when they get one that I just like giving them away more than I do drinking them. I agree. It would be really good if it wasn't allocated. Oh, I mean, it's if you could just go get it on a shelf yes. anywhere, sure. Yes. But then would we be talking about it? No, no we would not be. In my opinion, Woodford and Knob Creek are very good drinking bourbons, and no one talks about them because any liquor store. Yep, you can get them anywhere. Knob Creek right. Nine is a fantastic. Oh, yeah. I literally just had it for the first time the other day. Great. Yeah. I don't know. I was like, why have I not been drinking this? <laughs> Like, what's wrong with me? That's the problem. Yeah, it's, well, it's always been there, you know. It's just like that girl in high school that's just friend zoned the whole time. And you're like, well, why haven't I been dating her? You know, because she's always there. I didn't need to. It wasn't no chase. It wasn't fun. Where y'all in the line? I'm number ten. I'm ten. Okay. I'm in the walk up line. I'm like 18, so I'm pretty much screwed. Like, it's, it's, I'm just here for fun at this point, for kicks and giggles. Content. I'm. <laughs> All about the views, baby. In Auburn, they have the formal line. You come, you sign up, you can leave, you can come back, you can do a thing. And they, you know, they kind of observe that. Like, it's all self-governed. Here, dude comes out, actually gives you numbers and organizes it a little better, which, you know, has some merit to it. But it's a, you know, it's a little unstructured until then. So it, it's just kind of fun to see how different it is at each place. Plus, the Auburn is just crazy. When I left, I drove right past the Auburn store. I probably should have stopped and just seen what was up. I drove right past the Auburn store. I bet you I'd have been 30. 30th in line there, and I drove another hour and a half here, and I was 18. What the hell is Burnham? So Burnham is a Heaven Hill product. So it is made, uh, it's it's a weeded bourbon. I think Bur Burnham's Heaven Hill, isn't it? Am I saying that's, that's right? right? It is Heaven Hill. A lot of folks would say it's probably kind of like an old Fitz, although Heaven Hill also makes Larceny too, right? So they got, you know, it's just one of their freaking weeded whiskeys. I don't know much about it. I've, I've never had the barrel proof. It, it, if it is sitting there and that's my only choice, I will take it just because I don't have it on the bar and I, I value things I don't have more than things that I, I have, even if I like them. I wouldn't take, what, what number are you? It's supposed to be 23, but there's so many no-shows. Okay, yeah, I, I wouldn't take that one at 23 if it were me. Just because, honestly, there's a strong chance I could just go to any store that got that and it'd still be sitting there. Because nobody knows that. Only like people really into whiskey even know what that is. So you're liable to find one around. And they I don't think they have a high secondary. I could probably go pay a small convenience fee on the secondary market and get one from somebody that picked it up today. But if that heritage collections on there, you're getting it for sure? Oh, absolutely. Yes, yes. No doubt. It won't be, but no doubt. I, I'm hoping my guy picks one up. You know, that he's 30th, but I don't know. I, are there three people that understand, you know, that want to pay $290 for a bottle of whiskey? I don't I don't know. I'm not willing so. He's not one. So we got with two, he, he's not. That's ten percent of the people in front of my guy. So we're just talking numbers here. Like we got a good, it's pretty good sample size. Yeah, it's a pretty good sample size. All right, we are just hanging out, waiting in 
I would call it line, but this is not even close to a line. It's just a mob at this point. Everybody has numbers. Y'all missed it because I was charging this, but man told me I had a nice Cadillac. Freaking Lincoln Continental. Why Cadillac get all the credit? Why does everybody think Cadillacs are cool? Why, if it's a big long car, why does it default into a cat? Lincolns are so much cooler than Cadillacs. Just go ahead and debate me in the comments on that. Also, while you're at it and we're just hanging out, why don't you do me a favor, hit the like button on the video, maybe share it out to somebody. We gotta get the views up because this stuff's expensive. You excited? I'm, I'm, I'm just glad I'm here. You said I you said I needed to get a bottle of Johnny Drum. That's your go-to. That's the that's the unsung hero right now. It's a fantastic affordable bottle in my opinion. Okay. In Alabama, they're like 50, 60 bucks. So I, you, you say under $40 is where I need to be looking for a Johnny drum. Yes, sir. All right, so supposedly only 35 people showed up that had a number, unless somebody showed up late and he gave them a number. Only 35. So like right here, you're gonna be low 50s, so which means you've got a chance. We're getting something off we table get, Unless we more people, chance. yeah, unless more people showed up, he said 35 when he did his count. I added it right, yeah. 60 bottles on table one. Yeah. A great, we're gonna get a Burnham. Is it Burnham or Burnham? I, the, however you want to pronounce it, I don't know. Yours sounded better than mine, I don't I don't know. Mine's like the redneck way. If you wanted me to pronounce your name right, you need a phonetic spelling on the bottle somewhere and then I'll try. I hear the O's taste a lot better than the other Blanton's. Yeah? Yeah, it's a lot better whiskey in the O's. They put all the all the good whiskeys in the O's. No, I'm just, I'm kidding. the letter makes no difference, yeah. What, what can you spell, B-A-N? I think right now, mine at home, I could spell Blanton's, Blanton's, Blanton's. That gives you, you an high idea how many I probably, I give, like I give most of them away at this point for like at work or folks that come over that really, really want one. So every time I go hunting, I see one for under a hundred bucks, I just buy it, which means I'm probably buying two a month at least. They're not that hard to come by. Now you gotta put some effort into it. I'm not saying my level of effort is normal. Up, you gotta give up one weekend a month at least. And that's a lot. That's a, one weekend a month is a lot to give up to hunt for freaking whiskey. Like there's not a whiskey drought. Like I got 300 open <laughs> bottles. It's like, what am I gonna do this weekend? Am I gonna fix that door that's leaking that's costing me $200 a month on my heating bill? Or am I gonna go hunting? Like it's a sacrifice, man. It's, this hobby is a sacrifice. Why don't you spend a little bit of money recording? Well, I tried, like this is just so I could write it off on my taxes. I don't really make a whole lot, but now it's tax deductible. Now, stage two is maybe profitability, but I don't know if I'm ever gonna make it there as many bottles as I keep buying, so. Well, if we all go check out his channel, Hit the like button. Share that sucker out. Like, uh, tell them. Tell them. Like step three. Somebody's listening to a video right now over here. Right? Dividends to the people who. I hear my loud ass voice over there right now. <laughs> you had to. You had to. <laughs> That's a phone too. That's how loud I am. That's a phone. It's not even. What video are we watching? <clears throat> the review of E. H. Taylor. It's a good bottle. You might want to look up the Elijah Craig video. I don't know. He's gonna, he's I haven't gonna done do the barrel proof. The lot after he gets it. I haven't done the barrel proof on a review yet. I, we might have done small. I think we did small batch. It was all right. It did, it's okay. Pretty good bottle for a regularly available bottle. Pretty good. But the problem with me is the Elijah Craig has just a little bit of. I, I, it's hard for me to describe what it is. It's just like a little bit of an off note. And in the barrel proof, that off note is amplified. And it's almost like a little bit of a. Maybe it's a burnt caramel or I don't know. It's just something's kind of off putting about it. In the regular small batch. Batch, pretty subtle, not a big deal. And the barrel proof just ruins it for me. There are levels of sophistication of this particular hobby, okay? I'm not sophisticated. <laughs> All right, any any questions? You're good. You know what yeah, you're supposed to I be buying. You're yep. good. Okay. All right. Got the list. Got the list. If you have any problems, just use your card. Hey, how, how did we do? How did we do? Got the last bottle of Blanton's. What else? And uh, Weller. Which one? Uh, I don't know. Let's grab Weller. Oh, God. It wasn't the uh, foolproof, it was the uh, special reserve. Was there a foolproof left? No. Was there a red label one left? No. It was okay. just this. Did this you go down the, the list? list? Yeah. And that was the tops of the list? That's not all right. There yeah. wasn't the E.H. Taylor that you wanted either. Okay. But you got the last bottle. I got the last bottle of Blanton's? Yeah. Okay. Now give me my card. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'll put this in your car. Yeah, yeah, I owe you lunch. So what, what'd, you say, what'd you say you got? Wait a damn minute. And that was a store pick of 107. Yeah, that store pick of 107. And he just missed it. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
So there are still bottles of Weller Antique 107, but he didn't get it. He got the green label. He didn't look at what they were. He just went to the green label. So he got the green label when a 107 was sitting there. That's gonna be a McDonald's lunch. <laughs> That is not a steak dinner lunch. <laughs> like you write it down for you write it down for a reason. You write it down for a reason. I mean, you you can't give too much. You can't give him too much crap because he did win and come stand in line and allow me to take. But he didn't like. I just, I'm having a hard time with folks following the list. Jesse at the lottery last year didn't follow the list, and he passed on an E. H. Taylor barrel proof and got something else that I had to make him go back and exchange. But the E. H. Taylor barrel proof was gone. We did end up getting a Blanton's. I think he got a Weller 12 instead of an E. H. Taylor barrel proof. And now we've got the Great Weller debacle of 2023. None of those are bad whiskeys, but there's like my favorite bottle that I'm running out of sitting on a table in there that he just walked by. And then he got the one I just bought a bunch of as my favorite bottle. We gotta, we gotta train them better. I'm gonna be on my deathbed. I'm not gonna be thinking about family. I'm not gonna be thinking about like what I could have done better. I'm gonna be like, I wonder what that tasted like. Now I gotta, Tough choice here. I, I have one of those at home. I'm gonna take the one I don't own. I got a bottle of Jack Daniels, old number seven. <laughs> it's great. At Burnham, I got the Burnham. They had that in the Old Forester Barrel Strength Rye, and I have that one at home. I don't have this one, so I figured I'd give it a try. Is there still some Burnham in there? Yeah, I took, I think there were like two bottles left when I grabbed this one, so who knows? Not a lot, it's slim pickings. Okay. Got the goods. We got a little something to discuss. What's up? The Great Weller debacle of 2023. You know what my favorite bottle of whiskey is? No. Weller Antique 107. Was it there? Store pick, Weller Antique 107, came out four people after you. So you passed on my favorite bottle to grab the green label Weller that was waved, oh. which was the bottom of my list. That was the le the last <laughs> bottle on my list. You passed my favorite bottle for my last, no, they didn't have any more. Oh man, well here's your bottle. I appreciate it, man, I appreciate it. <laughs> We're gonna give Hook's Barbecue a try here as soon as they open. It's like 10.30, 10.40, they don't open till 11. So we're just gonna stand in the parking lot like weirdos. I mean, we've been standing in the parking lot for bourbon. Why can't we stand in the parking lot for freaking barbecue? What do you think? Delicious. That was very good. Yeah, a pork sandwich. Which you devoured. That's how we do it here. Kind of like your hopes and dreams of getting yeah. that bottle. I'm gonna be fighting for my life in the comments. <laughs> I'm gonna defend myself too. How are you gonna defend that? Like you didn't follow the list. You went right to the bottom of the list. Was the list upside down? Can you read upside down? I don't know what happened there. <laughs> I panicked. <laughs> I saw Weller and I grabbed it. <laughs> Those are actually the best ribs I've probably ever had at a barbecue restaurant. Now I'm trying to stay away from sauces and carbs and all of these things. So I just got way too many ribs. I'll eat these for dinner, but they're absolutely perfectly cooked. Uh, normally I get ribs and they're just burnt. Like they've been sitting around forever. These are fantastic. So if you ever find yourself in Troy, Alabama, Hook's Barbecue, pretty good spot. So we got a good lunch in and now it's time to head to the house and try this Burnham. The loss of that 107 is going to sting for a while. Like he did the best he could. I appreciate it. Dude won the, he won the spot. It was his spot. He get any bottles he wants. It's just so painful when there's a bottle there you want so bad. Something that's so freaking delicious and you get something that's not quite that. Like, oh, that, it was a store pick too. Like that just rubbed it in like a 107 loss 107 store pick even bigger loss so that one's going to eat at me for a bit here but all's fair and loving bourbon y'all see what i'm dealing with here right favorite bottle all i've got left right here been nursing this one trying to just string it out for a while to make sure i had one really didn't think about pressing the issue and trying to find one there there have been a few of these around lately because i thought yeah, worst case I'll end up with one in this uh, particular lottery. So missed opportunity there. But you live, you learn. Here's some uh, Burnham original right here. Let's pop this sucker open, give it a try, see what it's all about. So this is a barrel strength weeded from Heaven Hill. I believe, Burnham Distillery. Anyway, I'm under the impression that it's Heaven Hill. Got our handy dandy Bruzel Glen Cairn. First thing we're gonna do is pour a little out on the bar for the uh, Weller Antique 107 that didn't make it. Just out of respect, you know, just out of respect. It's got a great color to it. It smells really nice. That's actually a solid whiskey. It's got a great viscosity to it. Like that is super thick. What's the proof on this guy? This is batch A223, 118 proof. Mash bill 51% wheat, 37% corn, seven, or 12% malted barley. So this is not a bourbon. 
I didn't even realize that. This is not a bourbon. I thought it was a wheated bourbon. This is actually a wheat whiskey. Says it right there, Kentucky straight wheat whiskey. It helps to read the freaking bottles, folks, which is why that's so interesting. A lot of things going on. There's some stuff through the mid palate there, a little bit of harshness that I don't love, but man, that just kind of drinks like an oil. Really, really thick. Coats the palate really well. A lot of great sweetness. A finish that just kind of lasts forever. There's just a little bit of harshness in the mid palate to me that keeps it from being just one of the best things ever, but that's a solid whiskey right there. So we did good. We scored a good whiskey. We got a couple of good bottles. I mean, you know, you can't beat a Weller, I mean, you can beat it, <laughs> but it's fine. It's a good bottle. Uh, and then we got another Blanton's here for the selection. We've got plenty of Blanton's. We'll probably end up sending this off to a client or something at work. We'll see. We've got a couple more uh, bourbon trips coming up, so I'll see y'all in that video.